Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight I'm comparing these two waters. First up is Honey Grow H2O water. Next up is Menchie's H2O water. And so whenever I do a water comparison versus video, I like to have the two waters that I pick have something in common. And so you might have noticed that these are both called H2O waters. You might have also noticed that there are similar looking bottles. They're both 16.9 fluid ounces. They're both similar plastics, similar shapes, similar colors in a way, similar, uh, you know, lids. There's a lot in common between these two. But, like, the deeper I looked into it, the more and more that these two have in common. The Honey Grow Water was from a restaurant. I actually bought this in, like, June. I bought this many months ago. Honey Grow is, like, a, it's a restaurant that sells salads and stir-fry meals, and you get to, like, customize the meal. You get to pick whatever goes in it. You pick whatever you want. And this is their branded water that they sell at the, um, you know, at the restaurant you get with the meal. And instead of just them buying cases of Aquafina, they have their own custom branding. And um, the Menchie's water I got a couple days ago. This is from a um, frozen yogurt store called Menchie's. It's similar to this in that you get to pick your own toppings, pick your own ingredients, and they just, it's all mixed together. And uh, you get to customize your own frozen yogurt meal. So this is frozen yogurt. This is like salads. But it's still similar that you get to like customize your own thing. And then this is just their own branded, um, you know, bottled water. Instead, again, instead of selling something they buy by the case, they uh, have their own custom branding thing. So anyway, Honey Grow was born in 2012 in Philadelphia. And it's serves up fully customizable stir fry and salads using ingredients sourced as locally as possible and the source of the water is from three springs company and it's bottled at the source and the labeling company is private springwater.com menchie's h2o water is from federalsburg maryland and this is just municipal water supply. It's not spring water. It's just, I'm guessing, just straight out of the tap into the bottle. So this is less, like, fancy. And this is labeled by PyDemontSprings.net. And the labeling companies are both pretty similar. I guess lots of restaurants want their own branded thing. Um, I forget which one, but, like, one of them did, uh, one of the labeling companies did a ball for FedEx one did one for Moe's Southwest Grill. I guess they have their own um, custom bottle of water, too. And um, lots of different companies like that that they had examples of. So anyway, I'm going to open these up, do a taste test, and decide which one I think tastes the best. Before I open them, though, I think that the Honey Grow bottle looks better. I think it's cool that the label is double-sided, and you can look through it to see... The logo inside I just think it looks better um, this just has like a non-transparent like more simple label like just like the the kids drawing kind of looks like it was um, done quickly kind of and this one just looks like they put more thought into it but again I'm not judging them on the bottles I'm judging them on the taste of the water so let's open them up and here we go I haven't tasted any of these. I bought three bottles of each, but I haven't tasted them. It's weird spending that much on, like... These were each, like, $1.50 or maybe $2 per bottle. It's weird spending that much on a bottle of water and then not drinking it for, like, six months. So I've not tasted either of these. Tastes very similar to the Brita. Um, it tastes better than municipal water supply. Uh, I'm in Pittsburgh. It tastes better than Pittsburgh municipal water supply. I'll put it that way. But it tastes a lot like the, the Brita. More of like a zesty, plasticky taste to it. And uh, like I said before, I have had these bottles for about six months. But six months shouldn't really affect the taste of the water that much. Um... I mean, it's been sitting in my drawer for about six months in a dark spot, um, but it kind of kind of has more of a plasticky taste to it. 
And this, like I was saying, this one has like even a thinner, a thinner plastic, but I'm tasting less of a plasticky taste. I guess it would have been more scientific if I bought them on both, like on the same day, but I didn't do that. Anyway, I'm going to do a pH test. So here we go with that. All right, here's their pH level. I'm colorblind, so you guys look at the chart yourself and decide which pH level you think they are. They look like a 6 to me, but I'm not really sure. I'm blind. What do you guys think? Uh, it's Honey Grill on the left, Menchie's on the right. Neither of them make any claims about the pH level, but this is the results of the test. So what do you think? Uh, so like I was saying, I went to the Menchie's frozen yogurt place a couple days ago, and right now it's the middle of the winter. So I'm guessing it's their down season. I'm guessing they sell a lot more frozen yogurt in the summer. I would just assume because people want to cool off in the summer. And when I went, it was like freezing cold. So the place was pretty empty. It was also pretty late at night. It was like 8 p.m. So it was also like just pretty empty. And so I actually talked to the uh, the franchise owner, not not the owner of the whole company, but a franchise owner. And he was saying that Menchie's was started by like a Jewish uh, couple they met or, or their, I guess it's their first date or something like that was frozen yogurt together and they both really liked it so the guy's name for his wife was his menchi it's like a Jewish word and so they started a company together they both loved frozen yogurt according to this franchise owner and um, yeah they had a sale they let me get uh, for five dollars, I could fill up the bucket of uh, frozen yogurt and have as much as I wanted. I could stack it as high as I wanted, and it's pretty good. It's a pretty good deal, I, I think. It's like a, it's like a zesty taste. I have a bar of soap. It's called like Zest. I think that's the name of the soap. Is Zest. I kind of taste that soap, like the zest taste of it. It's hard to describe, but it's like a plasticky, zesty taste. So this is not a bad water, but I'm just going to say it now. I think that the Menchie's water tastes a little bit better. So the Menchie's is going to move on to the next round. Ah. Have any of you guys been to either of these places? What do you think of their food? I think Menchie's is a, a bigger known franchise. I think this started in 2007. And there's already over like 500 locations. According to, according to the guy I talked to, he said it's the biggest frozen yogurt franchise like in the world. I think they're like international. It's been like over a month since I've done a water review. Sorry, it's um, taken so long. Um, just with dating somebody, I just it's taking up a lot of my free time, and um, I've just been busy with work and, and everything else too. Um, what do you think of this new camera setup? I have a little light now, a little ring light. And it's, the camera's mounted on top of my computer now. So instead of a tripod, um, it's on my, it just mounted up there. It's taking up less like space on my desk. And I got a, an HDMI capture card. So instead of recording to an SD card and then taking the SD card out and putting it in my computer every single time I shoot a video. With my HDMI capture card, my GoPro goes just straight into the computer. And I can just record straight to the computer. It's a lot more uh, easy to do. A little change I did. Um, I think the bed is new since, since my last review, I think. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. But not much else going on. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm going to upload this in January, right now it's December, um, what'd you guys think of the water collaboration video? That was, this is kind of neat, um, I guess I haven't uploaded that yet as I'm recording this video, but, um, I think it turned out pretty good. It's kind of like a lot of work getting in contact with all the water drinkers to do that video. Um, cause YouTube, they don't let you put links in the comments. So I kept trying to contact all the big water drinkers on YouTube and tell them about the, 
2019 collaboration video. But I put it like a link in the comments, so they marked all my comments as spam. So those um, other water drinkers didn't see my comments. So it was just complicated getting in touch with all of them. Um, I mean, the video was pretty easy to make other than that. Um, so yeah, I guess if you're seeing this, it's 2019, so Happy New Year's, everybody. And I'm just rambling on and on here, aren't I? Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye.